Hey YouTube, this is Rest Music Park Fan 62. Um, over the weekend, it was announced uh, through one of the wrestling channels that, from what it sounds like as of now, WWE is scrapping Def Rebel. Um, if you don't know who Def Rebel is, they are the music pro uh, producers for a lot of the themes in WWE. Um, but the main issue is they're inconsistent. Now, what do I mean by this? Essentially, some of the themes that they will produce are amazing. Um, so you're talking about Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, um, a few others here and there. But the main issue has been most of the themes they have produced in the last couple of years have just been okay to generic. Um, they don't really... <coughs> so, um, the... The biggest one of this was back in January during the Rumble. A lot of people was like, who is this coming out again? Because it didn't show. Because the, it's that wrestler's theme was very generic. Um, so that has been the main issue with them. And unfortunately, I see that going forward. Um, their contract is coming up. I know that. Um, so supposedly they're going to get third party themes. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that with every single wrestler going forward. But I can honestly see with some of the current wrestlers, them starting to get third party themes as well. But I on I can see WWE getting another music producer. Um, who else? I'm not entirely sure because I'm not entirely sure who else is out there that does stuff like that. Um, one of the best ones I can think of is Mikey Rukas. I think that's how you say his name uh, for the AEW themes. Now, a lot of what he does is great, um, but are there some themes that are okay? Absolutely, but I get, especially with him, so I'm not, but back to the point. Um, there is gonna be a lot of music change probably with over the next several months. Um, and unfortunately, one of the big ones has been, um, changed a lot of the wrestlers' themes. Um, okay, for example, back at WrestleMania 40, uh, they changed AJ Styles' theme from phenomenal to what it is currently. Another one... Now, I don't know if it was just for WrestleMania or not. Um, I think so, was Bailey's. But one of the things I hope with whoever they bring in to that, that does themes is not going to do a lot of the, what a lot of the common themes are now, which, uh, to name a couple, um, like at the start of the song, you for uh, Bailey's it goes role model or phenomenal or it's Tiffy time, shit like that, stuff like that. I'm sorry, but that has been the, one of the biggest complaints people have had is the fact you know you have that at the start. And then the theme. Now, um, one of the biggest things has been as well um, is they're tr they're trying to. 
I guess not pay the royalties or something with stars that have had a theme going back a long time. So you're talking about Randy Orton and all of that. Um, Randy Orton, his theme goes back to Jim Johnson, I believe. Um, I don't know how that that one works in particular. Um, as far as like, you know, all the, all the money stuff with that one. But I know they have really been trying to get wrestlers into the with the newer themes um, who who've had CFO, who was the uh, music producers before Def Rebel. Um, some of the stars that have come to mind for that has been uh, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton. Uh, no, Randy Orton didn't have one through CFO. Um, Kevin Owens, Becky Lynch, and a few others. Um, and honestly, I am surprised with those two in particular. Um, they did not switch their themes out back when the company was doing their change. I don't know if those two had a say and be like, no, this is the theme I like type of thing. Um, all of that is out. A lot of that is unknown. Uh, all, but the thing I don't like that they do is they come up with a theme and then it's around for a short time and then it's gone. Now, I get doing that sort of thing, especially if you have to do it from multiple superstars, is not easy to do because you have to know their gimmick, um, figure out the theme around it, and then go from there. And, and I'm sure probably the deadline they have for some of those is not easy as well. Now, I will say this. Some of the stars that WWE or Def Rebel has done themes for have been great. Um, one of the ones that actually sounds pretty good is Sol Rukas because it fits her beach vibe. Uh, so it sounds like you have like the waves and all of that. But overall, um, am I glad they're scrapping uh Def Rebel yes um and let's just hope they find a good one to replace them